Welcome back to another truck talk. I don't think I'm gonna start too. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the truck talk beginnings. I don't know. It's so lame. So lame. Anyway, so it's so lame. It's so lame. Chewing gum. Definitely cutting this out. Cut this out, Ryan. Cut this out. So what we got was. I'm not talking about what we got. This is a truck talk, right? Should be talking to me about uh, how to get ungated and the Discord and the uh, awesome Q4 season that we're going to have. So Q4 is coming. Q4 is here. Q4 is now. Uh, I don't know if anybody's having a real, real hard time sourcing. It can be difficult sometimes. Um, that's just how it is, right? Some I strike out all the time, right? So this is nothing new. Uh, anybody that just says they walk into a store and they just five carts, they just get five carts every time, and everything's a dollar, and I just keep buying all these dollar toys, it's not based in reality. It's just not. Um, you can save up a bunch of videos, you know, on all your good wins and all your scores and everything else, and that's fine. But your losses have to be shown too. If you go into every store and every single time it's a banger, right? It just can't happen. It just doesn't work. It's not real. It's not real. It's not authentic. And I don't fucking like, you know, resellers that do it. It, it gives you guys a false sense of, uh, you know, a false sense of reality, a false sense of what it means to be a reseller. Strike out all the time. You make bad buys. You buy shit that you think is going to sell, and it doesn't sell for the price you think it's going to sell. And then it tanks sometimes. You know, sometimes it tanks. Sometimes you take a break even. Sometimes you get your fucking money back out. And then you're thankful that you get your money back out and you don't lose money. It's a gamble like a lot of things. But it's a smart gamble, right? you got to be smart. You have to be intelligent. You have to think uh, like you would if you were in any other commerce um, type business. You want to make sure that what you buy right is is safe enough that's why you stick to bigger brands uh, you stick to things that sell things you know people want to source things like oh, i'm just going to start buying nike shoes they don't know fuck all about nike shoes i don't know fuck all about nike shoes that's why i don't really sell them um i mean i'm not stupid if i find some that sell then sure, but I'm not sourcing, I'm not going out looking for them intentionally, sourcing them, like trying to find shoes and, you know, do these things that I don't know shit about, because I don't know anything about, you know, uh, things like that. I don't know, you know, men's fashion, obviously, I mean, so uh, I'm not going out there trying to find Hugo Boss stuff or whatever, I don't even know if that's even good, uh, but yeah, uh, you know. I don't know shit about any of that stuff. So that's why I don't source those things. I know what I know. I source what I source because that's what I know. And I don't source anything else, really. Well, that's not true. I source everything. But I don't go out looking for it is my point. I guess that's my point, right? I don't go out looking for it. I'm not actively searching uh, for these things, whether it's uh, OA or RA. I'm not looking for these items that I don't know anything about. Anything I source, I know about. So I'm looking for these things because I know about them. Those fans, I've sold those before. If you watch some of my videos, I'm talking about fans I picked up just here recently. Um, I know those because I've sold them and I've sold them for that price and even more. Um, we were getting them, I don't know, it was last summer, summer before last, um, for $9 a piece. Certain colors, I think with the black ones last year. Uh, maybe it was the year before. Same ones, uh, these Bornados, right? Um, they were the black ones, I think. Uh, they might have been the gray, they might have been the white, uh, but they've got like three different kinds. They only had listings for certain ones, you know, Honeywells, Bornados, those kind of things. Um, same stuff, you, you find them, one is on sale for nine bucks, the other one's $36.99, selling for 50, right? And that's what we do. We find these things that are in demand, in high demand, relatively high demand, um, and sell them for a premium wherever the world takes the product, takes the item. Because you can't get these things everywhere. And that is fine. That is commerce. That is perfectly fine. 
I don't know why people are upset uh, with individuals. Stores do it to you all the time. There's, the man's sticking it to you all the time. All the time the man is sticking it to you. The gas station, the, you know, you, you think it costs Domino's, uh, you know, 15 bucks to make a pizza? Fuck no. It doesn't cost them $15. I mean, it costs them two, a dollar fifty, three bucks. I mean, these things are nonsense, right? I mean, of course, you've got wages and keeping the building and the lights on and all that shit, all right? But they wouldn't be in business. Pizza places wouldn't be in business. Stores, Taco Bell, you know, any place wouldn't be in business if they're not making a profit. That's the idea. Same thing with this. The reselling is no different. You're in it to make money. And you buy low and sell high. I mean, that's that's the idea. People are, like, all offended. Um, <laughs> people get all offended by it. It's wild to me. It messes you up. It's nuts. So, anyway... Uh, that's enough of this rant. We'll see if we do more. All right, bye. Truck talk, bye. This thing's got a wicked pull to the right.